August the 31st. On this day we celebrate the deposition of the precious Sash of the Most Holy Mother of God in the church of Halkoprateia. According to an ancient church tradition, at the moment of leaving this world to join her Son and God, the All Holy Mother of God left her two robes to two poor Jewish women who had served her. They kept these precious relics carefully and they were handed down from generation to generation until Galbius and Candida gained possession of one of them through a pious ruse during the reign of Leo I and placed it in the Vlaherne church. The sash of the Mother of God, which was found, no one knows how, in the Diocese of Zila, near Amasia in Pontus, was taken to Constantinople during the reign of Justinian in around 530 and placed in the church of Halcoprateia that stood not far from St. Sophia's to the west in the district of the Coppersmiths. That day they celebrated the dedication of the church and of the two most venerable relics that it contained, the holy sash and the swaddling clothes of our Lord. Many years later, in about 888, Zoe, the wife of Emperor Leo VI the Wise, finding herself gravely ill under the influence of an evil spirit, was told in a revelation that she should be healed by the laying on of the sash of the Mother of God. The Emperor immediately had the seals on the reliquary containing the relic broken and they discovered the holy sash with wonder, as new and resplendent as though it had been woven the day before. A document was found beside it, giving the exact date on which it had been taken to Constantinople and how the Emperor himself had placed it in the reliquary and sealed it with his own hand. Emperor Leo kissed the relic with devotion and gave it to the Patriarch. As soon as the prelate laid the sash on the Empress's head, she was freed of her illness. And they all glorified Christ our Saviour and his Most Holy Mother, and they replaced the relic in its casing, after which the grateful Empress had it enriched with gold thread. It is said that John Assen, the Tsar of Bulgaria, who ruled in the 12th century, having defeated Emperor Isaac II Angelus, seized the cross in which a piece of the holy sash had been embedded and which a priest had thrown into the river to save it from profanation. Found by the Serbs, the holy relic was later offered by the holy prince Lazarus to the Arthonite monastery of Vatopedi, where it is still venerated today giving off a sweet fragrance and working many miracles. This sash, which had girt the chaste womb that carried the Creator, and which had been dampened with drops of the milk by which he who is the life of the world was nourished, this sash remains for all believers a pledge of salvation. It urges us to gird all the movements of our flesh and to imitate the chastity of soul and body of the Most Holy Virgin and Mother, so that we may be counted worthy to carry in our hearts, in our turn, the Christ who never ceases for us to become a little child. Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are ever and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity, and save us, O good ones. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. 
Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Spiritually guilt to thy truly divine searches with power and a bond of safety, O all Immaculate One, possesses strength that cannot be broken, wherefore it glories in thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Those on earth thy shrine has truly appeared more honourable than the Ark of Old, O birth giver of God, as it does not bear symbols, but faithfully preserves tokens of the truth. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the temple of the pure virgin, sweet mystic fragrances pour out from her venerable shrine today, and they feel with the sweet savour of the Spirit all that draw near thereto with longing. Thy church rejoices in thee, O Christ our God, as she cries out in joy. Thou art my soul's steadfastness, my strength, and my refuge art thou, O Lord. O most holy Mother of God, save us. Let us, the faithful, honour the search of the pure Virgin today as a bond of union with God, and let us worship it in faith. Most holy Mother of God, save us. Ever flowing streams of gifts flow from thine immaculate shrine, O most pure Virgin. Watering all the faith. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Much celebrated in song, the search of the supremely honourable and pure Virgin, today gushes forth healings unto us, the faithful by Christ. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thy joy flows forth like the morning dew, O pure one, ever putting to sleep the furnace of the passions in them, that sing thy praise. As the whole church now celebrateth in gladness the deposition of thy raiment's divine sash, she crieth out most earnestly, Preserve us all from oppression by our foes, O Immaculate Virgin. Smite the wanton arrogance of the godless barbarians and guide our life in piety and peace, that we may do the divine will of Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, the great rivers of wonders, that issue from thy hallowed shrine as from Eden, well forth and richly water the face of the earth. 
pouring out its gifts on them that with faith give thee honour. Wherefore we sing hymns to thee, and we solemnly praise thee, and in thanksgiving ever cry to thee. Rejoice thou only, true hope of those lauding thee. When the church beheld thee, the Son of Righteousness lifted up upon a cross, she stood still in her course, crying as was meet, Glory to thy power, O Lord, most holy Mother of God, save us. Establishing thee as an exceedingly venerable firmament, O Theotokos, the Maker and Creator, adorned thee with divine illuminations as with stars, wherewith thou dost brighten the outermost parts of the earth. Most holy Mother of God, save us. Thy flock has thee as a strength and secure foundation, O Theotokos, and it is upheld by thy divine sash, which it puts forward in words as a bone that cannot be broken through. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As we ardently cleave to thy divine sash, O Mother of God, it draws us with longing from earth to heaven. Therefore we glorify thee as the cause of a nobler glory. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Behold, inexhaustible grace, come all you feast lovers with a sincere heart and with faith draw up waters that abundantly well forth from the worshipful shrine of the all-pure Mother. Thou, my Lord, art come a light into the world, a holy light, turning from dark ignorance them that praise thee with faith. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. Thou, Lord, hast magnified thy mother. Thou hast incomparably exalted her glory above all angelic authority. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. The grace of God is now bounteously granted from thy venerable shrine to them that worship thee with faith, O all Immaculate Theotokos. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Faithful kings are girded about with thee as their power, O Theotokos. In thee does thy flock boast as its mighty bond, and through thy sash it is made venerable. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thy manifest grace has verily been revealed in a marvellous manner, O all Immaculate Virgin, working mighty deeds and signs in all the earth. I will sacrifice unto thee with a voice of praise, O Lord. Thus Christ the Church unto thee, for by the blood that flowed from thy side, because of thy compassion, she has been cleansed of demons' core. Most holy Mother of God, save us. The Lord has wholly glorified thee above nature, O Theotokos. He has wholly exalted thee alone. He has wholly honoured thee beyond telling. And thy temple with thy sash and divine shrine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Streams of grace flow from thy spot as shrine as from a sea, and they encompass all creation, watering them that faithfully worship thy child. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Possessing thee a strength and boast of faithful are girded with glory, having thy hallowed sash, O birth giver of God, as an exceedingly bright and precious ornament. Thy precious sash, O Theotokos, which encompass thy God-receiving womb, is an invincible force for thy flock, and an unfailing treasury of every good, only ever virgin mother. What discourse of the earthborn can tell of thy mighty works? What tongue of mortal man? For neither can any he heavenly intelligence. But since thou broughtest forth the immeasurable sea of sympathy, accept now these songs from unfruitful lips, and grant me divine grace to acclaim thy sash, O Lady, whereby the whole world is made glad, and with the angels praises thy miracles, O only ever Virgin Mother. O only ever Virgin Mother, Flame with the love of piety rather than with fire, the Abrahamite children in the Persian furnace cried out, Blessed art thou in the temple of thy glory, O Lord. 
Most holy Mother of God, save us. Since thou alone, O Maker of light, art the Son of righteousness, thou hast divinely brightened the modest virgin's temple with thy diverse gifts, and her sash rising up therein shines forth its rays. Most holy Mother of God, save us. As we compass thy shrine like the golden vessel of manna, O thou who alone art pure, we now partake of the truly divine delight of thy graces, and we honour it as the highest of the tokens we have of thee, O all-blessed Lady. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Verily the wine bowls of thy wonders overflow with grace for the faithful, O all-pure maiden, and noetic rivers bounteously issue from thy venerable shrine as from another Eden. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Draw near with gladness now, all you upon the earth. Come, for the shrine of Our Lady mystically exhorts us. Embrace her surpassingly glorious sash treasured up within me. When Daniel stretched out his hands, and the Danny shut the gaping mouths of the lions, and the children, those lovers of piety, who were girt about with virtue, quenched the might of fire as they cried, O oh, all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. Most holy Mother of God, save us. The holy ark held the divine tablets, graven by God's hand, O all pure one. But thy venerable and honourable shrine, O immaculate lady, contains the sash which held the very giver of the law within thee, Dread is the mystery. Most holy Mother of God, save us. Angels now form a choir in thine august temple, O pure and all spotless lady, and they attend upon thine honourable and holy sash, which we worship with longing and joy and exceeding gladness, praising thee as the glory of our race. Lord, we bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Thou art a rod and bodied with the flower of life, O Immaculate One, Thou art the joy of all the precious mer-vessel of the Spirit, the treasury of blessings, the fountain of sweet-smelling spices, whence thy divine shrine makes the myrrh of healings to stream forth. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The noetic hosts him thy mighty deeds, O all spotless and pure virgin, all the patriarchs and the prophets with the sacred apostles and the choirs of martyrs openly proclaim them, and together with them we worship and glorify thee in faith. In Christ the chief cornerstone, not cut by the hand of man, was cut from thee the unhewn mountain, O Virgin. He joined together the separated natures, wherefore we magnify thee with rejoicing, O Theotokos. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. Thy shrine is seen to be a bright chamber, exceedingly venerable indeed, O birth giver of God, for it worthily contains thy holy sash as the garment of both a virgin and a bride, and preserves it as a treasury of love. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. Arrayed henceforth in thy divine and all holy sash as a diadem of beauty, O Theotokos, the Church who regally rejoices today and is made beautiful with thy glory. The Most Holy Mother of God, save us. As you come this day unto the Virgin's Temple, which imitates all the fair ornament of the heavens, be radiant, you faithful, and shine with the beams of her gifts, as with the beauty of the stars. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thy flock possesses thy holy sash as a bond of peace and a high wall, O Mother of God, as a divine unity and doctrine is the boast of the Orthodox and the victory of kings. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We sing the praise of thy glory, which is beyond telling, and thy grace, which is beyond compare. For thou, O Immaculate One, are the fount of wisdom whence issues the word unto all that honour thee and magnify thy giving of birth. He that doth all concerning thee in ways that pass the mind of man has honoured with incorruption thy robe and sash of your and has bestowed it on thy flock to keep it strong and safe from harm. And now we celebrate with joy it
fixed a position, O Lady, while keeping feast with great longing. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honourable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word. The very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of Saint John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven. And the prayers of our fathers among the saints Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great of Egypt, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the protection of the Holy Sash of our Most Holy Lady, the Theotokos, the deposition of which we commemorate this day. With the prayers of the holy four martyrs of Perga in Pamphylia, who having been constrained to run over a bed of fire, were perfected in martyrdom. With the prayers of the holy martyrs, Menas, Faustus, Andrew, and Heraclius, with the prayers of the holy martyr Philiortus, with the prayers of the holy martyr Diadochus, with the prayers of the holy seven virgins of Gaza, who were perfected in martyrdom by the sword, with the prayers of the holy 362 martyrs of Nicomedia, who were perfected in martyrdom by the sword, with the prayers of St. Aristides, the philosopher, with the prayers of the holy Hara martyr Cyprian, the bishop of Carthage, with the prayers of St. Paulinus, the confessor, bishop of Treve in Gaul, with the prayers of our father among the saints John, metropolitan of Kiev, with the prayers of St. Aidan of Lindisfarne, St. Cuthberga of Wimborne, St. Answitha of Folkestone, and St. Columbanus of Ireland, and those with them whose memory we keep this day. With the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. With the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.